Hello, my 6060 Cafe Beans. I'm Moshe Jova, and welcome to a somewhat actual video. Sorry, not too much editing. Uh, I kind of wanted to get this up because I do kind of... I know a lot of you YouTubers say this, that they uh, want to get a YouTube video out fast because they care about the children. And I do care about children. I care about them a lot. I want them to be safe, and that's why today I'm making a video on Otaku Studios. At least according to a YouTuber I have at least a good amount of faith in. A good enough faith in to sit to make this video. Daft Spina has been at least uh, making very strong suggestions. Extremely strong ones. I think he or I said said the word pedophile either in a video on or, or a announcement on Discord that uh, Ataku Studios and Andy Tucker, the CEO of of, of Ataku Studios, is a full bloom pedophile. Now one part of his video Oh yeah, that, that one piece of thing is definitely, if actually Andy Tucker, he is definitely a pedophile for getting those nudes. If you don't know who Otaku Studios is, I forgot to mention it. Otaku Studios is a jet, it's basically just a porn company that does a lot of things, making videos, games, regular illustrations, and music. I think that's all, all of uh, the things they have their fingers in at the moment. I think that's all the media is. So, what? What makes him a pedophile? I don't. I'm not exactly sure yet. I think, which is why I incur will encourage people to wait until the weekend, certainly, for evidence, for the evidence to crop up out of the ether, basically. And hopefully, Zaf Pina also provides links in the description to investigate. I will be. I'll probably most likely do a video going through the evidence, making sure uh, that at least all of this is can be interpreted as legit, like, it's mo- basically just saying, this is legit, this is not legit, whatevs. I'm willing to hear whatever side comes my way, but who- what side would talk to me? I'm- I'm a channel with 31 subscribers. But regardless, uh, one of the things that- one of the criticisms about Otaku Studios that we do know at the moment is, uh, he hires underage employees, which is- it's- it's immoral, not illegal. Is this not, it's not illegal. But he hires them to draw porn. That's when you start... Uh, is this when you start to think to yourself? Are you a pedophile, Andy Tucker? Are you a pedophile? Because you got new to these people. I don't know how many of your staff is female and male. But regardless, uh, your secretary account says you have nudes of everyone in the studio. That's not a good thing to have. Definitely not a good thing. And now, so we got some. No, that. Well, the DMs aren't exactly too damaged. It just says his moral standpoint when it comes to hiring uh, children. He, he admits that it's not morally right to hire children. It's not. He says it's uh, completely legal, which, yeah, it's legal. As long as you're having children draw, uh, you know, correctly aged people. A 16 year old, any aged person, a fucking five year old, can draw porn. The problem is when the five-year-old drops porn of another five-year-old or anyone under 18. I apologize for the background noise. I know you've been hearing the beeping. I, I know it's annoying, and I apologize for any extra background. Obviously, any uh, underage art illustrations that Andy Tucker has commissioned are completely illegal, and he also has put his employees at risk for basically getting the FBI on, on them. Despite the fact that they... Wouldn't have made it without him, as without him paying them to do it. They would s still get in trouble by the law. Like everything he's doing, it's a selfish endeavor. He's not really thinking of his employees, and he clearly didn't exactly look at the law. And he also clearly doesn't have a lawyer because a lawyer, like despite the fact a lot of lawyers probably don't have hearts, according to his people, I'm pretty sure a lawyer would just be having a few headaches having this man constantly hire children. Because he would have to look up all the laws and make sure he's staying within the laws of his state and all that. But he clearly didn't read the laws considering the illustrations requested. Some of them. Now, uh... Actually, why do people make porn of My Hero Academia? You've, you've been looking at some of the screenshots. I actually can't. I can tell that the person's definitely not of age. Either way, side tangent. I think I guess you're the final thoughts. I am really disappointed that a company... <laughs> that a company did... It's this stupid. A, com a man that made a company is this dumb, but I think I've seen dumber. I think I've seen dumber actually. So actual final thoughts. Uh, he, as far as it stands, I do think 
He's a pedophile, and I do put pedophilia on a interesting scale. I say one to ten. I put him at a, a six point five. Pedophilia. He has needs of everyone in the studio. That that's pretty heavy. That one thing definitely gets you a six. Requesting the illustrations uh, gets you a solid point. So seven point five. He gets a seven point five out of, of pedophilia. But I would. It's not something to arrest him on. Well. The nudes, yes, arrest them on. Tend to go, go, go. Uh, Ataka Studios, don't take down uh, people's videos, especially that Pina. He actually made a good... His video was good. Instead, you could, you could have, like, probably talked to him. Convinced. I'm pretty sure he would have been willing to talk to you and clear some things up. I would be more than willing to do that. But what What would that even do? I'm I'm a small fry. A small, small boy. So, I think, I think he's a bet. Bad guy. If you get approached by Ataka Studios, please deny uh, any requests he makes. He has not. He will not credit you for your work, and he'll most likely try to get your nudes. Uh, that this is mo this is much Jovan, and and this has been a ramble of Ataka Studios. Thank you for listening.